The following program is rated PGR. It's good for kids, teenagers, and adults. Some scenes may include imagination. If you like what you see, please subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell. Now on with the show. I don't fit in. I don't fit in. I don't fit in. And I don't want to fit in. The Watching Dead. What's up dudes? Just in case you're new to my channel, my name is Willie Love and I'm a loner, a rebel, I'm your friendly neighborhood black guy. And I love movies, all movies. And today we are talking about Gotham Knights, episode six. And in this episode, which was a really great episode by the way, I think it's probably the best thus far. Had a whole bunch of like intrigue, action, and uh, the plot was freaking evenly given out too as well. But Joe Chill, the killer of Batman's parents, played by the dude that plays freaking Pinhead in all the Hellraiser series, is that dude. So Joe Chill is like about to be executed and he's receiving a freaking coin from the Court of Isles and he only wants to freaking talk to Turner. We're on a side note, we got our girl Robin over here in the hospital taking care of some of her mom's extra freaking work, hanging out with Stephanie's freaking boyfriend. But like, so back to the freaking group, um, they're all discussing if, you know, it's a good idea to go hang out with freaking Harvey Dent. But by now, you know, you can freaking trust him. And, you know, he's having some issues of his own. But yeah, trust is definitely a thing they need to go ahead and accept. So within the episode, Joe Chill freaking tells the truth about the Court of Owls framing him for the freaking murder. Because the Court of Owls obviously has got them under wraps like hardcore like and when it comes down to it and them going to i guess acquire some more information they come across some drug dealers and everybody has a civic duty they're called the gotham knights now so they feel like they need to go and take care of some things and stephanie even you know trudge along like i said she's going to be a bat girl eventually and her dad, who it was at the beginning of this episode, is the Clue Master. I checked that dude out, and his costume isn't the freaking greatest. He's like a watered-down Riddler, but still, a villain is a freaking villain. So they go in, and they do the whole freaking superhero thing. And Stephanie gets a gun in her face, which freaking tears her nerves all to hell. But yeah, that's all a part of being a vigilante. You gotta watch out, for sure. But yeah, Duella does not have anything to do with it because you know she still got that criminal heart she still is feeling like outcast by gotham period so anyway uh like at right there at the end man you know two things at the end of this episode like turner obviously has feelings for stephanie but she has to run off to the hospital be with her freaking boyfriend because her freaking boyfriend's dad got stabbed in the back by the freaking talon because, like, he was trying to say that Harvey Dent gave him the coin because he was trying to scare him out of the, the race for being mayor or whatever. But it was true. Uh, like, Harvey did not put, plant the coin on him, like, you know, with the mysterious key thing. But in the end, the talent take care of his job, and we see this freaking scene where Harvey Dent is experiencing his dual personality, which is Two-Face. So, man, like I said, I hate that we had to wait for this episode, but it was really good. And I don't know what it is about episode six having to wait for episode six nowadays, but you know, TV is the way it is. But it was a great episode. Thank you guys for watching my video. On to number seven. Like, um, hopefully it comes out at its regular schedule programming. But it's been your friendly neighborhood black guy. I love Gotham Knights, freaking DC Comics Forever, and I will. Check you later.